Hello everybody, so today's video is going to be my top tips for being happy and for kind of happiness in general. Obviously this video is very personal to me in terms of how I make myself feel a lot happier so it might be different for a lot of other people and it probably will be. Please do excuse my hair, like mm, I washed it and you know when you just can't be bothered to do anything with it and you're filming videos so you're just like no I'll put it in put it up. I thought I'd wear a yellow jumper because it's a happy colour because this video is all about happiness. You need to make sure whilst you're watching this video that you smile because if you're not smiling then what's the point in watching the video? Actually that's probably why you're watching the video. I don't know. But anyway I literally have about 21 things so I'm just gonna say it's 20 because I, there's a lot of different things that I do in life to make myself happy. I'm not saying that I'm not a happy person, but you know when you're just feeling a little bit down or I'm the kind of person that worries about things and I can easily stop worrying about things because I do these things to make myself feel better. So I, I am quite a worrier. I do worry about pointless things, but then I stop myself from worrying quite well so i don't know i just want to share my tips just a quick disclaimer obviously some things happen in life that you cannot just make yourself happier about and that's for you to deal with but this is kind of just general life how to make yourself a little bit happier in your general life i'm sorry but what is this Okay, so my first one is staying organized this is a massive one for me if I'm organised and if everything is kind of where it should be in my life, in my room, I know what's happening in the day, I know what's happening in the week and everything is very clear, everything in my life feels so much better. I feel excited to do things, things that I would worry about I would then become more excited for because it, I, I don't know, I feel organised and what I mean by organised is things like making lists. So I'm definitely a list maker. I make a list every single morning. I'm reading off a list right now because I've written this list. I make a list every single morning. I might do an overlay clip, but I make a list and I might do a video on this sort of how I stay organized, including how I make a list because some people don't actually know how to make a really good thorough list. And this one does really, really work well for me. It includes the times of the day, the tasks that need doing. And I often find that if you include literally everything on your list things get done a hundred percent so that's just personal to me and how I like to make a list but I will perhaps do a video on that if that's something that you want to see but I feel like if you make a list that means that everything that's going on inside of your head and everything that's going on in your mind you can then write onto paper and that literally clears your mind of all of that stress from what, all that stuff that's going on. And this can be applied to everyday situations. It can be applied to revision, schoolwork, tasks you need to do at home, your job. You can literally just apply it to anything. Everything that's going on in your head, even if it's clean the dishes, hoover the living room. Oh my God, sorry. Um, I just have to stop there. So I just looked at this book and I just thought that looks quite creepy. So I'm just going to turn that over. Um, yeah, even if it's just hoovering the living room, cleaning the dishes, mowing the lawn, whatever it is, if you haven't written those tasks down, they're up in your head and your head is having to work five times as hard to try and remember those tasks and you don't know what order it's in and you're just trying to think blah, 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 blah and it just gets, you know, it causes stress. And if you just write it down, it's there in front of you. Honestly, it is completely wiped from your mind. You don't even have to think about it. All you need to do is read your list. So honestly, I could not recommend that enough. A tidy life is a tidy mind. And that comes on to another one, which is keeping your room tidy. I often make my, well, I often get to the point where my room is pretty much a complete tip. And it takes me literally five minutes to tidy my room. It's tidy in my standards. I know a lot of people would say it's not tidy, but if I know where everything is, it's tidy to me. So just spend five, 10 minutes tidying your room, getting everything ordered where it should be. And then that's one less thing to think about. 
if you're worried about something in life like an event coming up you want to make sure that every other aspect in your life is organized and is completed and ready because you don't want to have all of these thoughts going through your head oh i've got to tidy my room or oh, i've got to do the hoovering get them done and do it and then you can focus on what your big main worry is and you can try and sort of make yourself feel a little bit a little bit better about that i also think planning thing with planning things with friends is another good tip i feel so happy when i'm with my friends i don't know what it is but i'm most comfortable when i'm with my friends i feel like i can let out my true personality and i'm just quite i don't know i don't know like i'm a, i'm just a normal person like i suppose i am how i am on camera um but it's just i feel really comfortable with my friends and i like talking to them and i don't know i feel like spending time with your friends is also it's just something where you just suddenly feel a lot happier like it personally makes me feel a lot happier and yeah so whether it's just going to the cinema going bowling just meeting up for a coffee whatever you know just absolutely anything i think that really does help me getting up early in the morning and i mean early ish like i try and get up at about eight half past eight dependent on what time i go to sleep in the evening but i try and get up fairly kind of like a decent time i know some people would call early like six o'clock which is early um and other people would call nine early or someone will call ten early like it's my just get up at a decent time but i tend to get up at half past eight because i think that that's the perfect amount of time i don't like my mornings to be too long because they kind of i don't like a morning to drag on if you know what i mean so i like to kind of be super relaxed in the morning especially you know if you're not at work or at school you can kind of just relax make sure you have enough time to sort of have your breakfast sit just watch a couple of youtube videos you don't want to be stressing out you don't want to get up too late you want to have everything in your own time remain calm and you can go into every situation very very calmly i also think that trying not to nap is a good one i personally don't agree with napping i do it all the time i literally do it all the time i have a nap almost every day but i know that i shouldn't do i get so tired after i've eaten my lunch because if the lunch is like a little bit bigger than usual then i will 100 percent need to sleep because something about getting full makes me really really tired at lunchtime so sometimes i have to have a nap because i'm that tired but try not to nap you know as much as possible because that means that you're not going to be able to sleep as much at night and that's at night time is when you start thinking about things and you start worrying about things you know that are pointless that you wouldn't really worry about in the daytime so if you have a nap you just you know you probably won't be able to sleep later on and also that's wasting time in your life napping when you might as well be doing something else um, and sometimes when you wake up from a nap you actually don't feel that good so you either feel really energized which is very rare or you feel kind of a bit down so try and avoid napping need to take my own advice on that one fill your day with productive achievable tasks i probably will do an overlay clip of kind of what i would deem productive achievable tasks because I think that you often people write lists and they think yes I'm going to do this I'm going to do this I'm going to do this when in actual fact I think you need to space those tasks out over a week you know if you can you know unless you're under pressure and time or whatever but try not to get too much done in one day because you won't get them finished and if you don't finish those tasks then you're going to feel really demotivated and you're not going to feel happy because if you tick off every single thing on your list you'll feel so happy you'll feel like you've really bossed the day you've been really productive and you'll feel so motivated for the next day whereas if you really put too much on the list and you don't get everything done you'll feel like that day's incomplete like there's a puzzle piece missing and you just feel like you failed don't do that so just pick things that are very much achievable and try and space out tasks every single day even if it's just a really simple thing just don't you know put too much in one day workouts now this is a big thing i am actually going to be filming a video on workouts just after this video but working out honestly helps so much with my mental health workouts to me was something that i always used to do for the physical benefits for the health benefits you know that kind of thing and often you don't see results 
you know, obviously you don't see results straight away, but often you don't see results for quite a long time. And that can be slightly demotivating and often means that I would not do my workouts. But recently I've been doing one every single day with one day break a week. And that's because I've been so motivated for the last month because I've realized that I do my workouts for the mental health benefits and I can see results instantly, absolutely instantly you can see results. If you're feeling slightly down and you know a little bit sad maybe, just you know sometimes you can just feel sad about absolutely nothing. Go downstairs, do yourself a workout, find a YouTuber online. I watch Rebecca Louise, her videos are really, really good. I'll link her channel down below if you wanna go and check them out. But like I said, I am doing a whole workout video. So I'll mention all about that in that video. That's coming very soon. Just go and do a video. It will release those endorphins, which makes you instantly happier anyway. It's like a drug. It just releases the endorphins. If you smile whilst you're doing the workout, you feel so much happier put all your effort in and it honestly makes you feel so much better and it can just be you know a small workout or anything like that but if you really want to feel happy I would recommend doing a cardio workout because you know it's just quite fun and that really does release those endorphins and I know some people would you know not see the idea of a workout being beneficial to your health because your mental health because you'd think well I hate doing workouts like oh it makes me so unhappy but actually when you start doing them you know for a while you start to realize that actually it has a massive impact on your mental health instantly and also when you do start to notice changes in your body and also you know you're getting a little bit more musclier then you start to feel so much better and you just feel healthier and overall you just feel so much happier literally i couldn't recommend workouts enough please 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 give them a go if you ever feel sad just do a couple of weeks worth of a workout every day and it really will boost the way that you feel sort of tying onto that is eating healthier with the occasional treats I'm not going to say go on a diet, eat super healthy, never have chocolate, never do this, never do that. But if you're doing your workouts every single day, apart from a day or two, then you can actually sort of have those treats here and there. And it's sort of putting every single aspect of what I'm saying in this video all together and it all helps each other. So if you're doing those workouts, it means that you can have those little treats here and there. And obviously you generally want to be eating quite healthy because the healthier you eat the better you feel because you feel better a because you know you're eating healthier and you know that that's a good thing to do so therefore you think oh yeah well done me your body will feel so much better you'll feel a lot more energized it's a hundred percent true you feel so much more ready to do things you know you want to get out there you want to do your workouts you'll have that energy for a workout you can eat more food if you eat healthier, you can eat so much more food that, you know, than, you know, if you went to McDonald's, your calories rack up instantly. Whereas if you eat healthy things, um, then you can just eat so much more. And then whenever you do have a treat, you feel like it is a real treat and you're enjoying that treat and it makes you feel happy. If you have treats all day long, and what I mean by a treat would be like a chocolate bar or something like that. If you're having those all day long, that isn't a treat to you that's just your diet that's just your general diet and you won't necessarily feel as good as what you would feel if you had that as an actual treat once a day i try not to eat too much sugar which also comes into this the more sugar you eat the worse you will feel sugar is a real killer in life it honestly it it isn't good for you in your everyday food that you eat you get enough sugar you don't need to be eating anything else you don't need chocolate, you don't need chocolate bars. And I'm not saying that you shouldn't have them, I'm just saying you don't need them. And I personally do have the odd bit here and there, but I try not to have too much sugar because I do know that that makes me feel very demotivated. It makes me feel, you know, not as active and not as kind of ready for the day. So I think if you're gonna have sugar, have a little bit about seven o'clock in the evening when you're not really gonna do anything. So that's what I would recommend, not having too much sugar. My next one is going for walks in the evenings. Now you could go for a walk in the morning, in the day, wherever feels best for you. I personally like to go for walks in the evenings. Me and my dad tend to go, what the heck is this? Oh, that's my hair. Um, me and my dad tend to go for walks in the evenings, probably like three or four times a week. 
I love going for a walk in the evenings just sort of with my dad or with my mum or whoever because that gives me a chance to just talk and unload all of my feelings, what I'm thinking and all that kind of thing. It's not necessarily the walk itself, obviously you're staying active and everything like that and that's great. But what I like is just to talk and I think this is good. If you're feeling sad or if you're worrying about something, then actually talking to somebody about that is the best thing that you can do. Even if it's just a slight worry, just talk about it and then you can get their opinion on it. They might have some advice to give. And I just like to talk about things anyway, you know, anything that's happened. It's just, I like to talk in general. So if there is anything that worries me, I will just talk to dad about it, you know. Like going to uni is a little bit of a worry for me just because, you know, it's a different stage in my life. But if I talk about my worries and if you talk about specifically what you're worried about, often that other person can give advice or often when you actually say it out loud, you can almost start to kind of help yourself with what you're worried about and kind of understand how you can overcome that because... I'm going to do a whole separate video on worrying because I really do think that that is quite a major thing in my life is worrying about pointless things. There's no point in worrying in life that honestly isn't. I will do a video on that because it's just too big for this video. Turn your nerves into excitement. Now this sounds kind of crazy, kind of weird and like, oh Georgie, how do you turn your nerves into excitement? And I don't mean your nerves as in your nerve cells, I mean just being, you, you know, your nervousness into excitement. When you feel nervous about something, that is actually a very similar feeling to being excited and it is proven, it is proven, it's quite a similar feeling but you just know that you're nervous. So when I'm nervous about something, for example going to uni, I'll look at that situation and I'll think okay so what am I actually nervous about? okay, meeting new people, but what about meeting new people? Well, what if I turn up there and I don't know where I'm going? Well, when you get to that situation, why does it matter if you don't know where you're going? Why does it make any difference? Why should it matter what other people think or what happens? Like, it's not really that bad of a situation. And suddenly you think, okay, so what is good about going to uni or what is good about that situation? Well, I can meet new people, make some friends. I have new experiences, I can start fresh. And then suddenly you've picked up onto some positivities, some positive notes, and suddenly you can try and make yourself feel a bit more excited and that excitement comes and then you try and push that sort of feeling of excitement through and suddenly I'm excited for going to uni. I don't know how it works, but it does. And it doesn't stay like that forever. This is something you have to do sort of every day, but it's just that five second period of time where you switch your nerves into excitement and honestly if you just think in your head I'm excited you start becoming excited I don't know how it works but it does for me so hopefully it works for you because it's honestly amazing and sort of linking on to that I also wrote think about the exciting things so think about the things in life that you get excited about events coming up things that you've planned with friends just think about those and if you've got something that's worrying you coming up if you think about the exciting things they will almost outweigh the negatives and sort of push that away a little bit um, I know sometimes it is hard to do that but just try your hardest to focus on the positives even just everyday little activities like for me staying organized makes me a little bit more happy I get excited to be organized weird I know I get excited um, for lunch I get excited for a snack I get excited to watch YouTube videos you know you just try and focus on the positives in absolutely every life situation and you can't really go wrong also I think something that makes me happy obviously this is very personal to me but watch YouTube videos. I obviously make videos and that makes me happy. Making videos and sharing my opinions on things makes me happy. But also watching other people's videos. I would recommend even to like my mum or my dad to watch YouTube videos because there's videos tailored to every single person out there. You know, it's not just beauty gurus or like vloggers. You know, there's loads of other videos out there for everybody to watch. And I think even just before you go to bed or just when you wake up in the morning, watching a YouTube video on something that you're interested in, a hobby that you have maybe, or just somebody going about their daily life vlogging is actually quite inspiring. 
and even when they're just at home doing absolutely nothing it honestly does motivate me and inspires me and it just makes me feel so much happier so if you don't watch youtube and you you know you often find a time in the day when you feel a bit sad watch a vlog watch someone's videos and hopefully that will make you feel a little bit better and also i'm just a bit of an idiot i just said if you don't watch youtube well clearly if you don't watch youtube why are you watching this video so you probably do but anyway just watch a little bit more youtube when you're feeling a bit down also don't be on your phone too much if i am on my phone too much i know that my brain goes whoa, whoa like literally it does that exact thing don't do it because if you're just scrolling and scrolling and scrolling and scrolling you'll scroll over the same thing you scrolled over five or six times your brain you know your eyes are so tired of looking at the same screen all the time you're checking things that have already been checked you don't need to be doing that unless you are specifically talking to somebody but don't keep checking things that you've checked over and over again put your phone to the side go off and do something else try and stay off screens as much as you possibly can and just do things a little bit more outside as well i do personally think that actually going on my phone does actually make me happy and that is something that again makes me happy going on my phone but i think just spacing out the time that you spend on your phone is definitely something that you need to do because you don't want to be spending too long on it baking makes me happy again it's obviously personal to you it's your hobbies it's what you find relaxing but i personally find that baking for me is what makes me feel really relaxed and it's my time to kind of have some time to myself spend some time organizing the ingredients and baking something together have a bath i tend to have a lot of baths now i used to do sort of once a week but now it's kind of every time i wash and wash my hair i have a bath i had one this morning spend that time to just sit in the bath chill out think your own thoughts or just think about nothing focus on the products that you're using i also put my laptop on the side and i watch youtube videos and that's your time to really kind of sit and listen to that youtuber watch that video and chill next one is smile now it's actually proven that if you smile you your body starts to feel like you're a bit happier it's only slightly but it still works so just smile a little bit more and hopefully every situation that you come with will actually make you a little bit happier clean your room your laptop your wardrobe occasionally so i often think that if i have a clear out of my wardrobe seasonally and i have a proper clean of my room seasonally that that just makes me feel so much better you're not you know thinking oh look at all these clothes you know if everything's tidied and organized then you will feel tidied and organized and actually the process of organizing your wardrobe and the process of t cleaning your room is also quite a therapeutic thing in itself and can really help your mind even though you might you know not be bothered to do it but actually mentally it is quite a good thing to do and also wiping your phone wiping your laptop of any extra things if you've got tons of things on your laptop that you don't need or on your phone like loads of random photos just spend the time sort of once a month just clearing through that getting rid of anything that you don't need because honestly a tidy clean wiped laptop is a tidy mind all these things do build up in your head and you wouldn't realize it you you know you think yeah well it's on my laptop you know it's it's loads of storage on my laptop it's not in my head but actually you will know subconsciously that you've got all these sort of storage issues so if you just wipe it out it's gone you don't even have to think about it ever this last one kind of just relates to sort of revision things like that if you go to uni or if you do your a levels keep your work organized from the beginning don't let anything get to the last minute because you will honestly regret it if you keep on top of things anything in life just keep on top of it and you can't go wrong because you will just be remaining organized and that's a massive thing because if you start to leave things to the last minute you start to get stressed you start to worry and it's just not great so that's the end of this video if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up please subscribe down below and i will see you in my next